So this is interesting. Nathan confirms Lacey split as he breaks silence on her decision. Now here's the thing. Lacey's mum has come out to have her say, and we'll get into that as well. But let's just get into exactly what has happened here when it comes to we both wanted different things. Despite saying yes at the end of the recent season of the show, reports recently emerged that the pair had separated after the show's reunion. Nathan has now broken his silence on the breakup, saying it was Lacey's decision to part ways and that he has nothing but love and good wishes for her. I have a lot of respect and care for Lacey, he told Yahoo UK. We both wanted different things. I went on the show to find love and sometimes things don't work out, but everything happens for a reason. I'm so grateful for the time we share together. Whilst I was usually disappointed by the breakup and heartbroken, I respect her decision to part ways and I have nothing but love and good wishes for her, he added. I wanted, um, I wouldn't have changed anything on the show and despite what happened behind the scenes, I would have still chosen Lacey to be my bride and I have nothing but respect and love for her. To be fair, I would love to hear, I would love to hear him um, elaborate a little bit more on despite what happened behind the scenes. What happened behind the scenes? That's what I would like to know. Now, with that being said, it says Digital Spy has reached out to Lacey's representative for a comment. He says he reflecting further on his experience on Married at First at UK. Nathan said, I have learned that I am deserving of somebody who loves me for me and that I am en and, I and that I am enough as I am. That I don't need to hide who I am and I learned a lot from the experts about how to work through relationships, friendships and that if you are the right person, they will stay and work through everything with you. He touched on his experience with ADHD at which he spoke about on the show saying he's proud to be himself that the ADHD deserves love too. Now, I just want to go back about the fact that he says that I don't want that I don't need to hide who I am. It's interesting because to be honest with you, right, with Lacey, it was very clear that she was treating Nathan based on his ADHD because there was even a scene where his mum, no, no, not his mum, so her mum even says, you know, you can't treat him as if he's a child. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's how she was treating him. She was treating him as if he was, he was her baby sister. She was monitoring the things that he, that he could and could not say. Really and truly, I never felt like we really got to know who Nathan really was, in my opinion simply because a lot of his behavior was based on how Lacey told him to act. Meanwhile, she was doing the most by getting involved in other people's businesses. Honestly, the whole thing was a complete madness. So really and truly, can we sit here and say that she did accept him for him or she just accepted him given the fact that she was able to maybe control him? It's all a matter of speculation. It's all a matter of, of course, what opinion you want to have based on what you saw, right? But remember what I said before, Lacey's mum decided to also speak up. So she came out and said, so Lacey and Nathan have split up and he's saying he was in at first sight to find, to, to find, wait, what? To find not love, not fame, but he has wrote an article saying he wouldn't mind doing celebs go dating, celebrity SAS, bake off and saying my Lacey was not genuine, really. First and foremost, the mom really needs to learn to write properly because that bit really messed me up to be honest with you. But here's the thing. I didn't read, there was no part in the article where he sat there and said that Lacey was not genuine. I mean, listen, obviously he did speak about the fact that he wants to be with someone that's going to love him for him and nothing else but that. Respectfully, why wouldn't he say that? Why wouldn't he want that? You know, if he's, especially if he feels like he's been treated differently by people in his life due to the fact that he's got ADHD. And if he felt like he had that kind of element of treatment because, uh, from Lacey, he's entitled to have that feeling. He's entitled to it because it's a reflection of how she didn't give him that safe space to feel as if he could be himself because of his ADHD. She probably made him feel more like he, ha you know, like I said before, she was monitoring what he said, like that, that's that dinner scene where we see him and her mum when they come to the actual apartment. And obviously, you know, she's done the cooking all that kind of stuff. And then he makes a joke. Lacey said, oh, I told you not to say those kind of things. She was monitoring him. So I wouldn't be surprised if after the breakup, after she split up with him, he probably sat there and said to, said to himself, man, like, I actually really tried. I even changed. I even did what she wanted me to do, but she still left me. I still wasn't good enough. Like, what the hell was going on? So really, until for Lacey's mom to come out and say 
that uh, he has wrote articles saying he wouldn't mind. But the thing is, though, sometimes when people go on TV shows, sometimes they get picked up at agencies. And when agencies pick you up, do you know what they want to do? They they want to make money off you. Okay, so therefore, if he's maybe got someone on his team that has said to him, listen, maybe because of the popularity that you may have from the show, maybe this is the right time for you to capitalize and to go on other shows where you can continue to, bring, to build your brand bigger. At least his mom is acting as if Nathan's the one that left her. But to be fair, he can do whatever the hell he wants. And let's not sit there and say that he's the only person. The thing is, I don't think he was on the show. I think he was there to probably find someone. But let's not sit there and act as if like there wasn't people on the show who were legitimately on it just to build a fan base. Luke was on it definitely to build a fan base. Amy probably. <laughs> Come on now. This is, this is lame as hell. This is lame as hell. And again, I did not find anywhere that he says that Lacey was not genuine. He never doubted he said that. He just said how he felt. If saying how you feel means you're now saying that someone's not genuine, that's a wild thing. Nathan was nothing but respectful to Lacey throughout the season. And, and he was nothing but respectful in this article itself in particular. Okay? <laughs> Nonetheless, though, unless there's another article somewhere else that is saying something completely different, well, then you let me know. But as far as I'm saying, I've looked at different articles. This is the one that I picked because it was just the one that was more down to the straight to the point. There wasn't a, there wasn't too many added other extra stuff that we really didn't need to add that we already knew. You know what I mean? This one just got us to do. That's why I picked this one. This is what I'm saying. But nonetheless, let me know exactly what you're thinking down below in the comment section. And uh, we'll most certainly talk about it. But uh, for me personally, I'm not surprised that their relationship went downhill. But I am kind of surprised it was actually Lacey that left him, not Nathan. But at the same time, it does make sense why she would leave him because maybe she's looking for i guess maybe a more man's man and that's not to knock nathan but let's look at it this way let's look at it this way right when mm, lacy went out with the other half of the of the, the group and she was dancing with adam when they got back nathan said ah oh, listen i know it's a little bit of fun blah 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 here's the thing some women would actually want to hear their man and this is not a healthy type of woman, in my, in my opinion, personally. We want to hear the man have a little bit of jealousy behind him. Be like, oh, wh why? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like maybe she actually wants more of a, like, more more of a, more of an, more of an aggressive man-to-man. -man. Not aggressive in a negative way, you know what I'm saying? More of a hands-on kind of guy. Not a guy that's heavily laid back and just doesn't really mind certain things because he's just, because he just, he has peace in his own life. You know, if anything... Nathan's probably just a, way, a bit more relaxed than she is. Because remember, when it came to their personalities, they were not the same. This one was more than happy to get into other people's businesses. Okay? R wrongly so. Meanwhile, he was more than happy to just be chilling. Okay? He said a few things here and there, but most of the time he was chilling. She was more than happy to even not only dance with Adam the way she did, which shouldn't happen, but then she was even not trying to do the same thing with Luke, but kind of recreate the same thing you know and she, listen she was just hella messy something completely different to what he is anyway so <laughs> that's why i would have expected him to leave her more than her leaving him but i can also understand why those reasons that i've given for my opinion uh would also be reasons of why she'd probably leave him because she probably felt as if maybe he wasn't giving her that security of safety because of course there is all that security of safety that many women look for and if the man isn't really going to stress about certain things of her doing things other men, then I guess sometimes it can make her think or wonder. Hmm, I do wonder if if a man was actually coming up to me and I didn't like it, would you actually be able to step up and protect me? That, that, that could be it. That could be it. Who knows? Either way, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.